Good afternoon everybody and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to make a homemade tongue lock. I got the idea when I was looking for tongue locks and they make one that's a plastic, a plastic ball that fits up into the tongue. So what I'm going to do, I have a spare two inch small shank. Shank doesn't matter because I'm going to cut it off, but I have a two inch ball that I have laying around that doesn't even work in any hitches that I have anyway, so it's useless to me. So basically I'm just going to cut this shank off and then this will lock into the tongue with a tongue lock. So let me get this cut off and I will show you what I mean. So I had to get some gloves on. Getting through this hardened steel is some work. So just a few more seconds. All right, we got it. Can you see that? I'm gonna grind that up and smooth it a little bit. All right, it's still pretty hot. I'm gonna let it cool down for a second and then I will show you how this works. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. No shank. All right, we'll be right back. Okay, so here's how it works. You have your two inch ball, you have your two inch hitch, you put the ball, it's the ball that we cut the end off hitch, lock it, and it's in. Then when you want to leave to go into town and drop your trailer, you just lock up your hitch with your normal trailer lock, and everything's going in there. And then when you get back, you just take it off, pull up on it, and out it comes. That's how it works. So we just cut the shank off, put it in there, and lock it in. I hope this video is informative. I think that this is a better plan than the plastic one that you can buy. I'll show you a picture of what I'm talking about. And if you have a ball laying around that you can cut off, then it doesn't cost you any money. So again, I hope this video was informative. If it was, give it a thumbs up and we'll catch you in the next one.